Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, Cancer, welcome to your Spirit Monthly Messages for the month of August 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the month of August, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, cool. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. So Cancer, the first, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Two of Pentacles. And basically... What I want to say is, for, for a lot of you, is you're in a situation in which you're on the outside looking in. There is something that's happening around you, Cancer, that you're... Wow. I, wanted, I was going to say not really involved with, but actually you are quite heavily involved with it. Uh, you may not know that yet. You may not recognize it or realize it, or you may... I just, I don't feel like you're really having much input in what's going on around you or something like in, in terms of you being on the outside looking in. The first card that came out that I was able to see was the uh, face up is the emperor. And I heard, immediately I heard an emperor is coming into your life. This could be love. I just did your love reading and yeah, okay, it definitely could be love, um, divine union, divine partnership, twin flame, whatever, because this does represent the divine mask. And I just saw 144. Good Lord. Okay. And this is the divine masculine, the emperor, right? But with this, he's got the five of wands and the knight of swords. And then below him, the way it's fallen out here is the king of cups and the queen of cups. Next to that is the Two of Cups, and that's on top of the Five of Swords. Y'all. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to call it like I feel it and call it like I'm seeing it. Um, and, and keep in mind, it is not my intention to make this into a love reading. This is a general reading. So take it as it resonates. But you have the two of cups here. You have the queen of king and the queen of cups. We could very well be talking about love. On the other hand, we could also be talking about creativity, a creative project, a, cre a group project, a creative group thing, something like that. Two individuals that work to creatively together. But it doesn't really look like they're doing all that well. They're both in reverse. And I feel like this Queen of Cups here is toxic. I mean, bo both of y'all could be toxic in one way or another. But that, for someone specifically out there, that just hit me. This Queen of Cups is toxic. And this would be, if you're talking about a relationship, this would be the, the individual that embodies more of the feminine energy. Whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to be straight up and honest with you guys. The King of Cups doesn't feel as bad or narcissistic or toxic as this queen of cups does because i feel like it's the, this king of cups is also this emperor and then you have the two of cups upright but you have it with the five of swords so there is a relationship that's standing right now but it's not benefiting anybody it is a lose-lose situation and it feels like this Queen of Cups here is manipulating the situation. And the King of Cups here is like, fine, I'll follow through. I'm trying to be a good person, blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, that only hurts him or her in the end. That only hurts this King of Cups. And it's continuing to hurt this Queen of Cups because she's being toxic. She is toxic. She's, she's being manipulative. But I don't know what you want me to say. And I'm not going to sit here and say that this King of Cups is immaculate either. No, because quite frankly, he's been enabling the situation too. Or maybe he's got his own toxic elements that maybe, oh, maybe he doesn't feel good enough to leave and find something else. And yet I still feel like something has happened here to <clears throat> make him, that King of Cups, show up as this emperor energy now that wants to like fight for some sort of change. And the Five of Wands here is representing, um, it could represent... Uh, popular opinion, the hive mind, uh, other people getting involved, the opinions of others. But I feel, I really feel like this emperor is really trying to fight through that. Okay. 
I just heard in order to save this relationship. Okay, so so some of some of you out here could be fighting against this unpopular opinion, or I'm sorry, this popular opinion to save the relationship, like you're fighting through what everyone else has to say about it, or you're fighting persevering because of what everyone else has to say about it in order to save the relationship. But the relationship isn't salvageable. Five of Swords. It's not salvageable. It's not beneficial. No bueno. No. Ay, yeah, no. Ay, yeah, yeah. So then Cancer, what does that mean for you? Maybe you're a part of this relationship, maybe. But I feel like you're on the outside watching this happen. Not that you... Stop it with your petty asses. Because I, <laughs> I just heard watching intently. No, don't do that, Cancer. And I really don't think you're trying to look... I don't think you're trying to be nosy like that. You may not really even been able, be able to, but I really don't even think you want to. You just know what's going on around you. And you may, maybe, you're, maybe you're psychic like me. Maybe you feel it happening. Maybe, you, maybe you, intuitively you just know what's going on. But you ain't trying to fuck with that. That is not my problem, boo. But you're wrapped up into it because you... <clears throat> Because you might be a potential partner. A strong one, too. The empress to that emperor. Oh. Well. Wow. Oh. Okay. Well, there's that. All right. One more shuffle, Spirit is saying. All right, yeah, I do want to get one more shuffle because I don't want to make this all about them. Like, this is you, Cancer. We're talking to you here. All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Case of the X is playing. Case of the X by Maya. Go check it out. All right, bye. <laughs> Here we go. It's playing in my head. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, five shuffles, but let me tell you something. Ooh, sorry. One. <clears throat> When I closed my eyes and really started focusing on your energy and like was calling out the spirit and all that, I literally saw two seahorses coming together and like their heads coming together and making a heart. You know the same you know the same way that swans do that? And then of course it's it it switched to swans, but at first at first, I definitely saw seahorses because I saw the shape of the body, I saw the ridges on the body, I saw the fin on the back, you know, of one of them. One, one being masculine, one being feminine. This does not have to be gender. This doesn't just have to mean a man and a woman. This, could, this is gender neutral. I'm just talking about the energies. And um, if it's really a divine partnership or if it's really like a solid union, one person, one individual is going to embody more of the masculine energy. One individual is going to embody more of the feminine energy, right? This is two. And then the heart shape that those seahorses... And then I guess swans because I made the association and it turned into swans. But the heart that that made became like solid and was turned, was spinning. I didn't really see the color, but I definitely saw that image, man. There is love here. Three. Ooh. Interference. Three. Look, I want to tell you something. If you're this toxic partner snooping around watching me, and you're hearing me say that love is here and you're trying to interfere with that, what you need to understand is you cannot stop true love. Oh, so you're gonna to resort to murder, huh? Three. Mm, wait, what's that? This is four. Is this four? Let's say it's four, four. Look, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just reading the energies here, y'all. Five. I'm doubting myself. Okay. 
Let's cut the deck here. Boop. Overall energy. Three of Pentacles. All right, so we're building teamwork here. Cancer, I really feel like you're, this is very much you working on yourself, being in your own lane, being in your zone, doing whatever it is you need to do, because the Three of Pentacles also represents self-mastery. Um, and this is why I really feel like if you've got like love going, flowing for you or something like that, and you're really not trying to pay attention to all that mess. You're really focused on you. You're focused on your coin. You're focused on your stability. You're focused on getting yourself set up or grounded or something like that, okay? Stay there. Keep that focus because it's helping you. It's bringing this divine union or relationship towards you, all right? Under, wow, underneath the Three of Pentacles is the Four of Wands. And what I feel like for you, Cancer, is this is you just being really good, really stable, really solid, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, mentally, like maybe even physically. Well, yeah, physically. I mean, I just feel like you're really good and solid within yourself. <clears throat> and that's excellent. That's bringing everything that you want to you. Underneath the four of wands is the world. And underneath the world is the eight of swords. What? Okay, underneath the eight of swords is the hermit and then the ace of pentacles. Oh, 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 okay, <clears throat> okay. You've broken free from some sort of mental prison, some sort of confinement. You went within, you found your own light. You found your own inner light, <clears throat> and that changed everything. That, like, completely changed the game. That brought a lot of really toxic, terrible things to a close for you. This is why you're so good within yourself. Four of Wands. And this is why you're taking the opportunity to really focus on you and to really allow whatever is going to happen to happen, um, <clears throat> which is great. And Spirit keeps saying this is bringing a divine partnership towards you or a twin flame union, whatever you want to call it. All right. But don't focus on that so much. Keep focusing on yourself. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. In the first half of your reading, you have Five of Cups. All right, so some of you may still be in the process of working your way out of something. There may be some mourning that's happening, um, a grieving period. But I'm going to be honest with you, Cancer. This mostly feels like it's someone else's energy. Maybe it's the energy of that emperor that was coming through and this toxic relationship that he or she is dealing with, having to leave that one. Um, it could be the energy of that toxic partner. Um... And actually, I, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not really trying to be a doomsdayer, but I really want to say, be careful of that. Be careful of that. Um, sorry, guys. Sorry, Cancer. I didn't mean to do that. But I, what I do want to do, what I do want to do, what I do want to do is this. Shoot. Sorry, bear with me for a second. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. Okay, um, just be careful if someone, because I really feel like someone could re get really vindictive and really, really nasty because they're in this energy. Um, now, the other, also, the other thing I'm getting for you, Cancer, is that this could be the energy of someone that you left behind. Regretting that they lost you. I just don't feel like it's you. I don't. And maybe there are some little things here or there that you're grieving, but I don't, I really don't think it's you, honey. Five of Cups coupled with the Page of Cups. There is an apology that wants to be made. This is from a past person. Straight up and down. This is from a past person that, that you left, that is out of your life now, nowhere to be seen, found, or heard from again, right? Um, and now they want to come back trying to say they're sorry trying to make up, trying to reconcile, trying to heal, trying to work things out. No, no, we're done with that. That was toxic anyway, that was codependent anyway. We're done with that. Bye, Felicia. Keep on, keep on stepping, keep on moving. I mean, go. That is not your problem to deal with anymore is what I just heard, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. The Ace of Swords. There you go. See, the truth has come to light. Honesty is key here. 
you know, you know exactly what this is. If there's somebody trying to come back into your life saying, I'm so sorry, please give me another chance. It won't happen again. Bullshit. You know the truth. Ace of Swords is coupled with <laughs> the Nine of Cups. And see, nah, yo, I'm good on my own. I have the truth that I need to feel satiated. I have the truth that I need to feel safe and secure and happy. And I just heard, I don't need your ass. I don't. I don't need your ass. I'm good on my own. I'm good. I'm not upset about this anymore. I'm not pining over you anymore. I'm not drinking myself to, to, to high heavens anymore. Like, no, I'm good. Thanks for the offer though. <laughs> okay. Your challenge, Cancer. In the first half of your reading, yeah, look, the 10 of swords. And yeah, don't, don't, I just heard Cancer, don't go back to this past person. Allow the situation to be laid to rest. The 10 of swords came out for who was it? I think it might've been Gemini. And it gave me this feeling of just like allowing something to really be done, not messing with it again. You know, I'm hearing let bygones be bygones. Just if you want to, if you want to, if you want to count it as a loss, take the L and move on. But I don't see it as a loss. Okay. It's not a loss. It's a lesson. There you go. So yeah, take that L and move right along. Do not go back to this person, cancer. It's toxic. And maybe this could very well be for that person that I was picking up on, that emperor that's dealing with a toxic karmic partnership, karmic relationship. It's like, nah, dude, don't go back to that. You got something good right here, standing right in front of you. You ain't got to mess with that shit no more, right? Yeah, okay. Ten of Swords is coupled with... Y'all. Y'all. The Emperor. Hold up. My mind is so blown. So I, um, I did your love reading before I started the Spirit Monthly Messages. And, um, for cancer, right? And the Empress came out. I just remembered that. The Empress came out for that reading. And it's most likely going to be the feminine in whatever this situation is that's going to watch that reading, right? Because that's over on Patreon. You got to pay for it. And you're not really, only, you're only going to really pay for it. I mean, it's not like a one-off thing. It's not Vimeo. So it's not like you can buy it, purchase it one time, and then you're good. No, you got to be a subscriber, okay? So unless you're really into tarot, I doubt anybody is really going over there just to like be nosy and because you got to pay for it. Okay. And the only reason I remember the Empress came out for you, Cancer, is because the Empress is still on the bottom of the deck. Yep. Those are all the cards. Yep. Yep. Those are all the cards. Where does it stop? It stops right there. Yeah, it stopped right there. Okay, so your your masculine, your divine counterpart, your twin flame, whatever you want to call it, it's just a label. But this person is dealing with a, a toxic karmic soulmate, and he or she just needs to put that to rest. That's all there is to it. But that is that has nothing to do with you, Cancer. And actually, if your if your partner is Cancerian somehow, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, I mean, like, okay, then it does have to do with you. But I'm talking to the feminine here. The Empress, that shit ain't got nothing to do with you, so don't even worry about it. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you've got... Yup! Yup! Nine of Pentacles. I'm good, boo. I'm good on my own. I don't, I don't, I don't need your sorry ass. I don't need all that shit. I'm good right here, baby. Single and, <laughs> single and ready to <laughs> a mingle. You know what I'm saying? Stay there, Cancer. Stay there. Because that is bringing your divine partnership, your divine union to you, okay? Nine of Pentacles is coupled with... <laughs> there you go. The Knight of Cups. You stay good. You stay balanced. You stay grounded on your own. And Cancer, it will come straight to you. 
You don't even have to work extra hard for it. And notice how, notice how in the beginning of the reading here, first set of surrounding energies for you, you had the Page of Cups, which still could be symbolizing this toxic mess right here that this person, this emperor is dealing with. And yes, you are the emperor to this individual's empress. So you are on the same level, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, whatever, okay? You've got to believe that about yourself, masculine. You have got to believe that about yourself. Stop questioning that. Somebody out there is questioning this. Can I really stand up? Can I really live up to this? Blah, 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 do, 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 all that shit. Like, stop talking all that mess, please. And just get, and just get in alignment and come get your, and, and come get your girl, man, please. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, but notice, notice how in the beginning of the reading, we had the page, whoop, the page of cups with this five of cups, right? Because this is an immature relationship. This, this shit ain't going nowhere, right? But then at the very end, you have a step up, the knight of cups. And I like that it's the knight of cups because this allows you guys to have time and space to grow into this new relationship, okay? I like that a lot. Okay, Cancer, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move into the Spirit Messages part two. That's gonna be over on Patreon. Five dollars a month, you get the subscription to everything that is just uh, to all of the Spirit Monthly Messages part two. Seven dollars a month, and you get my whole feed: Spirit Monthly Messages, monthly love readings, uh, various after hour readings, various. Uh, oracle readings, maybe a twin flame reading here or there if I feel called to spirit calls me to do it, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Yeah. So if I don't see you on Patreon, thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful for you. And I will hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah. Cool. Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>